client recently asked about integration with Microsoft Teams. So we were doing some training for them in relation to SharePoint and Content Manager integration out of the box. And as we were going through that training, Microsoft Teams, obviously being a big hit of late, uh, came up. So again, just, just going to go through exactly what you can do out of the box using Microsoft Content Manager's out of the box integration. Nothing different here to, to others. This is literally just out of the box functionality. So in here, I've got a, a team uh, within this team called Content Manager Integration. I've got two little channels within that. I've got one called Project integration and within that I can see that I've got you know posts, wikis, files, all the things that I'd normally have in a Microsoft Teams space. So in here I've got a number of files sitting here, I've got folders and I can add more documents into this as I go just like I would normally do within Teams. So I can grab some documents here and just automatically pop those through. Now again I'm just adding these in Teams, nothing to do with the SharePoint integration at this point in time, however the same principles are still applied. Now within Teams again I go and open this up in SharePoint which I'll do shortly. I can also change my view so if I had the integration turned on and an animation management view or we wanted to see things like record numbers or any other content manager data I could definitely do so I'm just going to leave it out of the box for me as an end user at the moment what are effectively happening behind the scenes so if I was to open this up and pretending I was again managing this I could actually be doing this automatically um, so this could be happening behind the scenes without a user actually doing it I've opened it up into SharePoint classic mode here as well and literally from here I can literally be going and grabbing a file going into the ribbon just like I would normally do for any SharePoint out of the box integration. This same principle happens with OneDrive business, the same steps, the same process that we would do. Uh, and again, I can actually be choosing to manage this file. As I go through and manage this file, again, uh, this would automatically be happening. So I could have set up some uh, lifetime man management policies to say that, you know, when files in this team get created, automatically put them into Content Manager. I don't have to be doing this manually. I'm just choosing to for the, the demonstration purpose. What's actually going to happen there is it's going to go off to Content Manager behind the scenes. So we're just going to refresh our page here. So again, that's off going into Content Manager behind the scenes. We'll see what's actually happened to see if it's started to go through its process. So you can see here it's set up and been modified by the SharePoint app. Again, I could have um, columns and views for Content Manager data, but as an end user, I don't want to see that. I can see that that's actually been picked up by the integration. If I go into Content Manager and have a bit of a look, I can see here, and if I refresh my search, you can see here I've got a folder for income statements, and that same document is sitting there within Content Manager right now. So I've created a metadata record, again, very similar to the, the four phases as you go through. But if I was to go back into SharePoint and actually say I want to relocate this file now, I actually want to move it into Content Manager. Um, actually again, relocate the file. What that's going to do is take the document out of SharePoint and put it into Content Manager. As it goes through the process, it's going to go through a queue behind the scenes as always. And if you go through and have a look, we can now see that that document actually exists uh, within Content Manager. Go through and have a bit of a look, we can see that that document has actually gone down into Content Manager. We can see that there's a corporate statement that exists. If I go back into SharePoint, I can actually see that document still sitting there, but I, if I do a refresh of that page, that document will actually be removed. So it's actually moved that document from SharePoint into Content Manager. I also go back and have a look in Teams. So right now I still see this sitting in Teams, that document's still sitting there, still modified by Carl because I hadn't refreshed it. I go back into my post, go back into file, then go back to income statements, you can see that document no longer exists. So again, the views, the setting them up, the automation that you can set up is still the same as the out of the box integration. You can do many things. It could automate based on that folder being income statements over the general folder because that's more important. But the principle of what we've gone through is the same. I can manage content sitting directly in Teams with the out of the box integration uh, without any other third party applications, just using Content Manager's out of the box SharePoint integration.